Right, in this lesson I'm going to try and do some subtraction uh, by splitting a number up into smaller parts. So let's start with an example. I've got 14 counters and I want to take away 6 more counters. And you can see here I've got two tens frames. This one has got 10 counters in it and this one has got 4 counters in it. So that's the 14. And I need to take away 6 counters. So to start with, I'm going to try and get rid of all the counters which is in this, which are in this tens frame. You can see that means I'm going to take away four counters. Now I need to take away. Oh, so let's do that. Ooh. One, two, three, four. All gone. Now I've I need to take away six, but I've only taken away four, which means I've got two more counters to take away. So. Take away two more, um, cross those ones out. So you can see that that leaves me with five counters here, six, seven, eight, eight counters. Now, if I wanted to do that on a number line, it would look something like that. Ooh, it's my number line. Uh, it's got 14 on it. And just like I did over here, I want to take away an amount that will get me down to a nice tidy number, which in this case is 10. So to get down to 10, I had to take away a tidy number, well, sorry, I had to take away uh, 4 to get to 10. Now I needed to take away 6, I've only taken away 4 so far, so I need to do another jump, which will take me back 2. So 10 minus 2 takes me to 8. So you can see I get the same answer, this way I used a 10s frame, and this one here I used a number line. And scoot down a little bit further, and I've got another question here. This time I'm going to do 12 take away uh, 7. Okay, so again I've got a full tens frame over here, 10 counters on it, two more counters over here on the other tens frame, so that's 12 counters. And again, I need to take away 7. So I'm going to start by taking away 2, which is getting rid of the counters on this tens frame. One, two, and you can see I need to take away seven, but I've only taken away two, which means I've still got five more counters I need to take away. So I'll take away those ones now. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see that that leaves me with five counters left. Let's have a look at that one on a number line. Um, I started at 12, and just like with the last one, I want to take away an amount that will lead me to a nice tidy number, which in this case will be 10. So to do that, I had to take away 2. Now, I needed to take away 7, but I've only taken away 2. So just like on the tens frame, I need to take away another 5. So I've got 10, take away 5, that's going to leave me, uh, leave me to 5. You can see that's exactly the same answer as I got when I tried to use the number line. Let's try a bigger example now. Uh, we can do 83. 83 minus 5. Now, this time I'm just going to use the number line. I draw my number line in. Write in 83. And just like we've been doing with all the other ones, I want to jump back to a tidy number, and the closest tidy number I can see to 83 is 80. So to get back to from 80, 83 to 80, I jumped back 3. But you can see I needed to jump back 5, so I haven't jumped back far enough. Now if I jump back 2 more, I will have jumped back 5, because I'll, I'll have jumped back 3. Then I'll jump back another 2, which in total means I'll have jumped back 5. So, 80 minus 2 leads me to 78. So, that's my answer, 78. So, I write that in over there. 83 minus 5 equals 78. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful, and uh, just remember there's uh, more videos, PowerPoints, and um, uh, books available at uh, teachertools.co.nz.